Oh, is engaged so in, 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 okay. in, is engaged in what could potentially be the most okay. negotiation. Hi, this is Michael Ellis. Um, I'm going to share with you something that I recently discovered. Um, it's pretty phenomenal, um, at least in my opinion. Um, it's nothing that I actually measured as of yet, um, but I kind of felt it. Um, at least energetically speaking, um, um, kind of in the same, uh, kind of in the same spirit as, um, Wilhelm Reich discovered that his, um, his, uh, organ accumulators, uh, created a, um, temperature differential, uh, temperature difference, um, between the inside of his organ accumulators and the outside of his organ accumulators. There's, it seemed to be warmer on the inside. Um, according to his um, uh, to his uh, his um, uh, experience, uh, as he related to Albert Einstein, um, uh, though Einstein never um, actually, um, well, according to records, he relayed this to or to Albert Einstein, though Einstein never actually um, attempted to actually uh, recreate the experiment. Um, so today, I'm going to show you how to use an uh, Orgonite device, um, sort of as like an auto resonator to um, excite um, diodes to create an actual heating effect. Um, now this heating effect is, um, uh, it's kind of strange. Um, it's almost like an infrared sort of heating effect um, in that you can feel it. Um, it seems the more diodes you add, the more um, biocompatible it becomes. Um, if you add like one diode, it seems to be really like offensive, like it like it feels like a burning on your nerves. If you add like seven diodes, like I have here, uh, it seems to be very comfortable, very um, very human friendly. Um, it, it seems to heat up like a room of like ten by ten feet, uh, very easily, um, at least in a in a good size um, organite pyramid. Um, like you'd find the molds like the. Um, like a six foot or not six six inch six inch tall um, resin pyramids. Um, so so I'm going to show you how to do this um, setup, um, and then you can embed them in your organite pyramids or um, tower busters or uh, whatever you're making uh, with to um, to uh, to run them on, uh, run the diodes on. Um, it should work. Um, I'm I'm gonna try and scale it down a little bit because um, the pyramids obviously take up a lot of resin and salt and materials. Um, but um, uh, but I found like you know even a small device will uh, create a big effect. So um, so it seems to be dictated by the number of diodes that you use, the effect that you get. Um, so uh, so. Uh, so here it goes. Um, so to begin with, you're going to need a bunch of diodes. Um, I found, I discovered this effect using a 10, 10 a 10, oops, which way is the camera? Uh, 10 a 10, oh, there's the camera, okay. 10 a 10 diodes, which are uh, rectifying diodes. You can get them cheap on Amazon. They come in like big, like 20 or more um, bags. You can also get them on Mouser or, um, or DigiKey, those are the two um, main hobby suppliers uh, that I tend to use, or you can get them on other electronics uh, websites. So, um, so to combine them, you're gonna have to wire them in series. Um, the way we um, do that is um, um, head to tail, head to tail like that. We're gonna twist them together, because you notice the line on it. See the line right there? And then the line on that, so you go head to tail like that, and you twist them together uh, like you're twisting a, a twist tie on a bag of bread or something. Uh, you twist them together like that. And then you're gonna need a, a pair of pliers to actually finish the job, because this is, uh, it gets, gets kind of small towards the end. So you just kind of wrap, finish wrapping that around with the pliers. Um, and so you do that for all seven of them, head to tail. Uh, then you're going to need a soldering iron. Uh, you can do this without a soldering iron, but I prefer to solder them together 
just so they are structurally structurally um, stable and have a good electrical connection. Um, so if you if you've never soldered before, this is a chance to learn how to solder. Um, you know, heat up the you use the soldering iron. You tin it with a little bit of lead-free solder. Um, you you uh, solder. Or you heat up the. You put a little bit of solder on the iron tip. Uh, you heat up the the metal joint, and then you add more solder to it, um, and it kind of balls up a little bit until you um, until it's like heat, and then it the solder kind of like wicks up it and then you keep adding solder until it fills up the joint and um, and then you let go and I suggest as I learned in electronic school you start with one far away and then kind of go back and forth because you don't want to overheat the, um, the the diodes otherwise you can wreck them so um, so I suggest you like move around instead of going like in order so you don't like overheat the diodes so that's just a tip tip of the trade um, so once you have all of them out, um, set up, if you want to put them in like a big piece of organite, like embed them inside, which is like what I did with this, uh, this experiment that I did, uh, you're going to want to cover the, um, the little gaps between, or the little, um, leads between them with, uh, electrical tape, or I used to also, uh, a glue gun, like the hot glue. Um, I've also done that and then covered it in electrical tape, but... Just like hot glue or electrical tape will work for uh, covering up. Or if you have any other tape, like uh, duct tape will work as well. Just to create a um, barrier so it's not shorting out between the um, metal flakes and the, and the organite uh, device. And you want these two contacts at the end to be in contact with the, um, the metal flakes and the organite device. And that completes your circuit. And that's where you get the um, warming effect from. Is it? It seems to like resonate electronics that are like attached into it. So um, that seems to be the trick to actually getting the um, the um, effects from uh, electronic uh, components. So um, so so again, the components you're buying are 10 A10, um, like 10 amp, um, 1000 volt rectifying diodes. You can buy them on Amazon, or um, if you don't want to buy them from Amazon for any reason, you can find them on digikey.com or mouser.com, um, among other electronic supply websites. Or you can just search. Um, electronic Gold Mine might have them. Um, I get some components from them too. Um, but there's, there is more of a, um, of a um, electronic surplus uh website so um so it's more of a what they have at the time uh than um actually uh, having a stock of um components um of of what you're looking for um uh i don't know what else um to say i or i don't know what else you'd be able to find, where else you'd be able to find, oh maybe radio shack uh maybe the radio shack website might have them um so I guess that about covers it. Um, yeah, so um, so just play around with it. Um, this is a safe form of heat. It won't. Um, I'm not gonna say it is. Uh, it will actually like help you survive in the cold, but um, it's, it's a fun uh, experiment to play around with. Um, so yeah, so um, have fun with it. Uh, try it out. Uh, beat it up. Put it to the test. Um, I, I have to actually, I'm actually gonna go out in a shed and see if I can warm up the shed with it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll report back on that if I get a chance. So, um, so yeah, so um, play around with it, have fun. I'm releasing it to the public uh, to play around with, so um, other than like patenting it or anything, because it's kind of a, well, because Organite kind of blesses us with. Uh, it's a uh, open source nature, so um, so this is a this is a uh, a fun um, fun thing that uh, you can do with Organite. So uh, you know, among the coils and other stuff that 
uh, can go with Organite. So, so uh, there you go. Things you can do with the diodes in Organite. So uh, have fun and be safe. And I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, and um, when you're soldering safety glasses and um, ventilation for the solder fumes, uh, just to stay safe. So um, have fun. Uh, and I guess that's it. This is Michael Ellis. Thanks for watching.